everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Does this look familiar to anyone? I'm at the Bend racetrack. It's just out of Adelaide. Bad supercars were here last year, but it's a brand new track. I've never been here. Come check this out. It's really cool. <laughs> Amazing, hey? So the accommodation is actually on top of the pit track. Really cool. So yeah, like this is a room where I've just stayed. So I'm just getting ready. We've got the new Hyundai Fastback N launch today. So I'm going to do some hot laps for the journalists. Also, we're going to do the film reel uh, that they'll be able to use for all their videos in their launch uh, story. That's going to be pretty cool. I'll try and get you some behind the scenes. So I'm down on the pit straight. How cool is this place? Just amazing, perfect day. It's going to be 38 degrees, so that's crazy. This is the new Hyundai Fastback N. So it's still at I-30, but you can see this uh, boot's totally changed, not the hatch anymore. Uh, so it's got the ducktail there. Pretty cool, it looks stunning in red. Let's see. really grown on me, I really like it now. The red looks fantastic. Just wrapping up filming today. It's been absolutely amazing. The car's done great. And we're here at the bend getting the full track all day. It's been really cool. Um, the journos have really liked the fast back end just as much as I have. And they've been able to really play with the car. The track's a little bit understeery. It wasn't the car at all. Uh, talking to the track manager and he said that's just a common thing here. He drives the Mustangs and things like that around and, and that's just how it goes. So Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we just tried to bring you some behind the scenes stuff and see what some of my daily job with Hyundai and M Performance is. Go straight past us. Welcome everyone, uh, as you can see we're at the Australian GP, so 
in this video we've just done the fastback launch that was at the bend and we're going to mix it up a bit and show you the same fastback uh, but this weekend we're at the Australian GP so we're doing the speed comparison it'll be me on track uh, up against the Hyundai i30 N TCR and also the awesome Minardi two-seater F1 car so we're going to set a time on Thursday uh, see where we sit and then from Thursday night onwards we'll be doing one lap each day uh, and the speed comparison is all about see if we can get over the line at a similar time but we'll be going for a win so we'll keep pushing and hopefully we can bring you some really cool footage it's going to be amazing event so many people it's almost a sell out every day this weekend so it's going to be really cool something i've never ever been a part of so can't wait check it out driven by Tony Quinn. I'll just show you inside, come along. Check out the door. Pretty cool. It's full carbon fibre, um, so the door's really light. You might have to hold it. Well, I'm not in here. Pretty tight cockpit. So this switch here is ignition on. Seal the dash light up. So these cars, they have a rear vision uh, camera going because I'll show you here, there's basically <laughs> no vision out the back, it's really hard to see. Um, and over here on the side, there's numbers uh, to show uh, what lap the car's up to. So, and the number of the car, I think, actually comes up on there. So that's all your dash display, your change lights. Uh, this is the paddle shift. So it's up and down, just like your normal uh, road cars are. Uh, WRC cars have up and down on the right, but these change. Um, I was just getting ran through the different dials. So the ABS, you can turn up or down, and the map is sort of the throttle application. Uh, so they usually run that on a two, and TC is traction control. So Tony runs that on seven, and he just drives full throttle. So that's really cool. So come around here and you can see inside the car they have these uh, nets so to, for driver safety and there's also another one that goes up here and that connects into that one so when they're racing basically the driver can't move if they have an accident or someone has a big side impact into them a really cool thing down here next to the pedals that's actually air jacks so when they come into the pitch really quick mechanic plugs in the air supply and lifts the car off the ground you see that all the time uh, in the racing series so a little bit more high-tech than my fastback in uh, but it's a very cool car this time I'm in the Audi R8 GT3 uh, it's a V10 this one about 550 horsepower restricted of course so I think they run a 41 mil restrictor uh, this car is completely different with the steering wheel setup. Um, I'm much lower, I've noticed, in the seat already. Uh, we're just going through some of the um, things we have in the dash. We have the track map, so we're at Elba Park, it's showing all the different corners. Uh, and we can scroll through tyre pressures, false reading at the minute. Um, but as you can see, this is the race one, will show the speed, the gear indicator that you're in. That's just what the engineers look at. Paddle shifting, so the cameras. So that's pretty cool. Here on the dash as well, I'll we'll go back to the track map. There's, on the steering wheel, sorry. Uh, similar to the Aston, the ABS and traction control. Uh, this is the radio button to call back to the pits. Um, the guys were just talking me through and they were saying when they do refuels in this class they have to turn the car off uh, so the car 
when it gets dropped uh, with the air jacks uh, basically the car restarts automatically and then uh, this is a hand clutch uh, they can pull the clutch fire it into gear and away they go and they're on the pit limiter uh, before they even get back into the pit straight so it shows how quick they are so it's a pretty cool piece of kit so we made it on the pit lane uh, the car's here it's looking good this is the tcr car i'm about to go up against and the minardi f1 will meet up the other end of the pits first our third race this weekend uh, it's going to be exciting you know the pressure's on there's a lot bigger crowd today everyone's wanting me to win so we'll race on and see what happens wish me luck that you'd stand there if you maybe you remember your first time coming to a formula one race when you heard the car from a kilometre away, two kilometres away, but coming here the first year and hearing it from Southern Cross Station, getting onto the tram, people are around going, what was that? You immediately become a kid every time no, you I hear do. these engines. It takes you back to Adelaide, yeah, doesn't it? Very cool. Very cool. So we're waiting for Zell Bongartner to cruise around. You can hear him in the background, that shot, and heading towards Walker Strait to the MSS Security Ultimate Speed Challenge. The Aussie flag will use to wave these cars off. So far, it's been a win to the road car to the F1 car is today the TCR spec Hyundai going to collect the win. So compromised on entry. It's now all down to the road car. Here he comes out the final turn. So Reeves, here comes Baumgartner and I think the road car is going to get this just and picks up the second of the weekend by less than a second. It was only four tenths of the finish line.